The challenge today is building a pile of cubes. And it's a bit of a math problem. We want to construct a building so that we use, it says n here, but I think it means m total cubes, where m is a number given to our function. And the base of the building will be n cubed. And then as we go up, we subtract one from n cubed every time all the way up to one to the third. And we want to return zero if there is no such n. So let's get started. We know we want a function, we'll call it cubes, and that's going to take our total m cubes that we want to use. And there's a few ways we can do this. Uh, there's probably a function that we could just create to return this, but the first thing I thought of was to do a loop. And so we're going to be counting up towards this m, so let's start with a total here. And we're going to be keeping track of n, and let's start that at zero. And now while our total is less than our m, we want to keep counting. And whenever I make a while loop like this, I want to make the terminate case first, just so that I know that this won't go into an infinite loop. So I'm going to say that our total is going to count up by our current n to the power of 3. So that's uh, this is how you do n cubed in JavaScript. And now every time we count up, we're going to be going up one layer. So my n is going to go up by 1. And we want to do this first because I'm starting n at 0 here, but the top is actually 1. And so you can play around with starting this at 1 and trying to get this to terminate correctly. But I know that this is going to work. And then at the very end, we want to return. And if our total exactly equals our m, so the, the number that's passed in, then we want to return our n. So this is the number of layers. Uh, otherwise, we just return 0. All right, let's test that out with their use cases. So we have this number here. And so if we pass in cubes of that number, then that should equal 45. Okay, and if we pass in the cubes of this number, then that doesn't have an answer, so that should equal 0. And we can see if these work. So let's run that. And there we go. We get 45 as the output for that one, and 0 as the output for that one. So I thought it was going to be complicated because I was trying to come up with the exact solution as a function. But when I just did it in a loop, it worked out just fine. And I'm not worried about runtime here because we only do 45 iterations even in this case. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.